This is a production of PBS Charlotte. Just ahead on Carolina Impact, it's the leading cause of blindness for older Americans. Find out what it is and what you can do to delay its progression. Plus, you've been downtown, uptown, whatever. You've been to the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center, right? Who's Blumenthal? I'm Suzanne Stevens, and we'll find out coming up. And searching for a new wardrobe? Forget the mall. The latest trends may be coming your way in a truck. Don't go anywhere. Carolina Impact starts right now. Carolina Impact, covering the issues, people, and places that impact you. This is Carolina Impact. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Amy Burkett. We begin with a topic that impacts everyone, our ability to see. I can't even imagine what it would be like to lose my sight. Macular degeneration is the number one cause of vision loss for people 60 years and older. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, 10 to 15 million people deal with it. As Carolina Impact's Jeff Rivenbark reports, advances in eye care offer great hope. For people with vision loss, a trip to the DMV can feel a little like Mission Impossible. At 75, Frank Massey prefers driving himself, but five years ago, he started noticing something unusual. There's a blind spot just got dead center of your eye. And soon, things got worse. Glanced down my speedometer, and I noticed the needle on it. I couldn't see it. So I thought I had cataract problems. Optometrist Dr. Edward Paul diagnoses lots of patients with age-related macular degeneration. What it literally does is it steals or causes blindness dead center of a person's eyesight. So a person with macular degeneration still preserves their peripheral vision or their side vision, but they cannot see centrally. As many as 11 million people in the United States have some form of age-related macular degeneration. This is not something that can be corrected with standard eyeglasses or standard contact lenses. This is a disease process that, if not treated appropriately, is going to ultimately cause blindness. V, D. It's frustrating. It really is. At 90, Neva Staley gets upset when she can't do certain things anymore. I can't read the newspaper, and I can't see the magazines that comes in, and I have give up the puzzles and then things like that because I can't see them. A person over the age of 50 has about a 10 to 15 percent chance of developing macular degeneration. If a family member has it, your risk factor increases to 50 percent. If a person has hypertension or elevated cholesterol and that's poorly controlled, that's going to increase their risk factor, as well as obesity or increased weight and smoking. That's why it's important to know your family history and get regular eye exams starting at age 50. Advances in eye care technology today can diagnose the condition three to seven years before symptoms show up. The sooner we can diagnose it, the better chance we have of reducing the impact on that patient's life. A relatively new FDA-approved procedure involves an IMT, or implantable miniature telescope, which functions like the telephoto lens of a camera. They're about the size of a green garden pea. And that telescope in select individuals can be implanted into one eye and it can improve their visual acuity between 200 to 300 percent. Now that's significant. Not everyone is a candidate for telescopic implant surgery. The procedure costs about $25,000 and is covered by Medicare and major medical insurance. At 44, Pacey Edwards deals with a rare genetic form of juvenile macular degeneration called Stargardt's disease. She received her diagnosis at age 28. After my first child was born, I could tell a difference in my eyes, fluctuating when I would read cards. I couldn't see quite as good reading um, simple things. Writing on the bottom of the TV, couldn't maybe read it as well. I was very scared. You can go blind. After consulting with Dr. Paul, he fitted her with a pair of high-tech glasses called Spectacle Miniature Telescopes. Her vision improved and she was able to resume doing something she thought she'd never be able to do again. I would not be able to drive if I didn't wear my optic glasses. I would not feel comfortable. Telescopic glasses cost about $2,500, and they aren't covered by Medicare or insurance. But Pacey says her glasses are well worth it. It's just everything. It's my whole world. I drive everywhere around town. 
I go to church at night. I feel very free. If a doctor tells you a change in your eyeglass prescription won't improve your vision, Dr. Paul recommends getting a second opinion. I would say 95% of patients can be helped with some of this technology that we have today. N G V. It's been weeks since Neva Staley got her new telescopic glasses. She's happy to be able to sign her name and read her church hymnal. Frank Massey says his new telescopic glasses saves the day. As for his trip to the DMV. Oh, it went wonderful. There you go. I never thought I'd be driving again. While there's no cure for age-related macular degeneration, the right treatment can delay its progression and improve vision loss, making tasks which once seemed like mission impossible possible. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jeff Reifenbark reporting. Thanks so much, Jeff. Here's something you might be surprised to learn. Your diet can reduce your risk of macular degeneration. So eat fruits and dark green leafy vegetables like kale, collards, and spinach every single day. Although I have to admit, those are not my favorite foods. Eat fish at least three times a week. That one's easier for me. And avoid foods with saturated fats. Let's talk a little now about nonprofit.